place some of the solution to be tighted in the burette. Rinse by rotating it horizontally. Use a pipette filler to suck up the solution in the pipette above the etch line on in the neck of the pipette. Release some of the solution so the bottom of the meniscus sits just above the etch line. Transfer the solution in the pipette into a conical flask that has been rinsed with water. When filling the burette, the funnel should be lifted slightly so displaced air can escape. A leaky burette can be fixed by adjusting the clamp. Conical flasks should be rinsed with distilled water. The initial reading on a burette should never start at zero. When titrating, if you are right handed, your left hand should grasp around to squeeze the burette clamp. Your right hand should be used to swirl the conical flask as the solution from the burette has been added. If you know the approximate volume to be added, you should add the first 95% very quickly and then for the last 5% you should add the solution drop wise, taking particular care to add one drop at a time and notice any colour changes. As soon as the colour changes, in this case it will go a faint pink, you stop adding the drops from the burette. The scale on the burette should always be read downways. In this case, the reading is 42.95. Occasionally, the bottom of the burette may have a bubble in it. In this case, hold the bottom of the burette horizontally and push the clamp. The bubble will then come out.